and CSS for engaging links, this right here. So I'm going to show you how that works. What that does is take the underlines out of the links, also allows the colors to be changed, and gives you that fancy rollover color that when you point to a link, it gives you a different color. An example of that would be somewhere here. Let's see. Here we go. So it says here jot form, and when I point to it, you see that not only does it get black, but it also gets the underline under it when I point to it. Okay, so CSS is what it takes to get these links to change like this. And um, the technique that allows that to happen is called pseudo classes. Pseudo, P-S-E-U-D-O, is a word that means fake or um, pretend sort of. So let's go over here to Dreamweaver. Here I have a document um, that is just a simple uh, links to some of my, my podcast, my Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Um, and this is kind of small, but here are here's the code for that. The tag that makes a link is the A tag, which stands for anchor. And what we're going to do here is go into Dreamweaver, and I'm going to show you how to um, change... The, um, the characteristics of these links so that it's possible to uh, make them different colors and stuff. Okay, so what we need to do is, um, I'm just going to click off of that. We need to go over here into the CSS panel. If that's not open, you can just double click in this gray area next to it right there. That opens it up. And we're going to say that we want a new CSS rule right there. Now where this is is kind of hidden. It's, uh, you have to know exactly where this is, and that's why I'm making this video. What you have to do is go under here to Compound, and then what you need to do is click this, and here are the how to make the CSS um, commands or characteristics for the different ways or the states that a link can look. The link part here, that is how the link will look when it's just kind of sitting there. On the page I just showed you, my, um, on the syllabus, the link was green when it was just kind of sitting there. Then comes visited, and what that means is if you go and you click that link and you go to where it leads to, and then you come back to that page that had the link, um, that link color can change to indicate that this link you've already chosen, it's the visited link color, and maybe some of the other links still have their original link color, and that tells you, well, I've been to some of these, but I haven't been to the other ones. On my page, I have both of these the same color, the link color and the visited color, so that even if you come back to my page, it's still the same green. But you can do your visitors a favor by um, having the visited be a different color so that when they come back to your page, they can see that they've already selected that link once before. This is the fancy one here, hover. This is the one where when you point to the link, not clicking but just pointing, the link color changes and also the characteristics. As you saw, not only did the link turn black, but it also got an underline underneath it. So those are some things that can apply right when you just point to it. And the fourth one, the active, is not very important. It happens right when you click and hold your mouse button down. When you let up, it goes away. The default color for active is red, and you may probably have never even noticed that. Because how often do you click a link and then just keep the button down to see what color it's going to change to? So I'm not even going to mess with that, and the book doesn't either. But we're going to just go in and pick some colors. Of course, you're going to be able to pick the colors you want that match the color scheme of the rest of your page. But I'll just kind of pick some random colors here just to show how this works. So what this is saying is that all the A tags, all the tags with an A, which would be the link tags, will have these characteristics. So we're going to go first to the A colon link, and we're going to say this document only. And then when we say OK, um, what we want here basically is the color. Now we also want to get, get rid of these underlines. So this is the way you do that is with text decoration. And what you're going to say here is if you wanted the underline still to be there, you would actually have to check this. But the fact that it's not checked means that we're going to get rid of the underline for these links. Then for the color, I'm just going to pick color. Let's say that it's just kind of sitting there. and It's 
maybe kind of a maroonish if I can find a darker red. Um, that's fine with something like that. Okay, then I click OK. And notice that they all changed to that color because we haven't been there yet. However, they, um, they're still all underlined. So we're going to have to do something about that. Let's go back into that particular one, the link one. And if we say underline and apply over here, if you look under here, it's it says um, color. Here's the um, code for the um, that CSS. <clears throat> Up here it says style. It starts the style. Here's the ending style tag. And it says that for the A colon link, here's the color that we picked, that reddish. But now it says text decoration. And to not have anything there, oh, there's none down there. What am I looking at? It's, yeah, we have to say none. I was going to say this here should say none, and duh, there it is right there. All right, let's apply that. There it goes. See how this says none now? Up here and down here, they all went away. Okay, I'm getting it now. <laughs> I didn't read far enough down. Now what we want to do is do the, I'm going to go ahead and do a visited color so that if somebody goes away or, or clicks one of these and then comes back, they'll see a different color and they'll know that they've already um, clicked that particular link. So we'll go ahead and do another one of these. Go again here to custom or compound. And um, then we just go, okay. Oops, no we don't. When we click one right here, visited. Then we click okay. And we get the box over here. Now, you have to um, specify these for each of the states. So that means that if I don't do none again, and they click one of these and go to whatever page this is, and then they happen to come back here, um, it'll actually then be underlined for the visited state if I don't say none again. So I'm going to say none again this time, <laughs> now that I know where it is. Go ahead and pick a color. Let's say that it turns some color blue or something when they come back. Then say OK. Now this doesn't change because we haven't gone anywhere yet. So the only way to sort of test that is that once you um, view this in a browser, you go ahead and test them out, you click it, go to wherever this thing you know leads to, and then hit back, and then come back to your page, and you'll see that that visited color should be there. OK, next we're going to do the fancy thing, which is the hover call. And of course, we can't see that here anyway, because we'd have to actually go into live view to, um, to sample that. So nothing's happening yet there. Okay, now we're going to do this again. So that means we need to do this little guy. And I think I got it now. I think I need to do this compound. And then I need to do this. And this time it's the hover. And again, this is the one that just you just point to it and it's going to do stuff. Of course, one of the things is color and, and we still don't want an underline, although maybe you do. And of course, like I showed you on mine, um, instead of it being, you know, underlined to begin with when you're not doing anything, I have no underline there, but then kind of a fancy trendy thing is to have the underline appear when you hover over it. So that's up to you and we'll do it both ways and I'll show you how that works. Let's pick a green this time like that, let's say, and initially we'll just say none and we'll go, okay. So those are the three. And like I said, we're going to leave that, um, active thing out. So we're just going to go up here. We're going to do the link the visited, and the hover. So now we can go in here to live view. And let's see, I don't think these are going to go anywhere in live view. Here's the rollover, okay? There's the hover thing. So that's kind of neat. Um, I kind of want these to be bolder, though. I should have gone in and, and said bold for all those. So, of course, we can always go back into here under style, click this, double-click that one, and font weight. Just say bold, okay, and then the visited one. See, if we if we don't do the other ones bold, let me cancel this. Then for the one that's with the initial one, it'll well, it is saying bold for the over um, for the hover. Sometimes if you don't say bold for the each one, then when I would point to this, it would get unbold, and the thing would actually you know actually change. So it looks like that'll probably work. Let's just leave it like that. All right, now let's go here under File, Preview in Browser, Firefox. Oh, yeah, we should save this first. I already had a name for it. It was called um, 
Copco links. Okay, so according to this, on my browser, I have been to these once before. The way the browser knows if you've been there or not is that every website you go to, every web page, gets added to a huge list called the history. And every time you go to a web page or website, the browser looks in that history file and sees if you've been there before or not. And if you have, then it knows to color the link with the visited color. And if you haven't, it knows to give you the regular color down here. So here's our visited color, the blue. And here's our haven't been there yet color, the red. And yet we have our rollover color or hover color for the green. So that's how it works. Now if I go to my YouTube page and come back, when I come back, this will then be blue. I'm not going to do that right now. But um, so, yeah, that's how it works. It's pretty cool, huh? Now, if I wanted to do that underlining thing, let's go back to uh, Dreamweaver here. Then for the hover, I'll double click that. And uh, instead of none, I'll just say that I want it to be underlined only for the hover. That would be when it's green. So if I say OK. And it should work here in live view. There it is. See how it gets underlined? So, yeah, that's kind of neat. And if we actually go back to the browser here, uh, about preview in browser. Yeah, I guess I should save it, huh? Now it's over here, the new version of it. And sure enough, there's the underlining when we do the rollovers. So again, you can decide, oh, let me show you one more quick thing here. Um, and sometimes when I show this, the students, some one or two students go, oh yeah, that's cool, I'm gonna do it that way. And that is, there's not only a thing called underline, but there's also one called overline. So again, for the, for the hover, the fancy one where you point to it, you could not only go in there and put the uh, underline, but you can do overline too, both. So watch this, I'll hit okay and live view, and look at that. There's not only one underneath, but there's one on the top too. So again, you have your choice of the colors, all the different colors for each state. You have your choice of, you know, what you want happen, what you want to happen when you hover over it, underline, overline, both, you know, whatever. Um, and so yeah, that's how it works. And so for the, um, when you saw there in the uh, syllabus, when it talks about we already did the table, how to put your thing in a table and have the table center and all that. But I wanted to show you here how to make your links fancy. And um, of course, you'll have to do that on each page. W once you have it the way you want it on one page, then all you have to do is copy this style from the right here where it says uh, style from style to slash style. And notice that in the document, there's this thing here, head, and then there's slash head right here. This style has to go in that head section. It doesn't necessarily have to be after this title thing, but it's as good a place as any. So what you would do is, uh, in the pages that don't have this, it'll just have title, and then it'll have the ending head thing here. So what you want to do is, you know, click on title, hit enter so that you get a blank line, and then just paste in this um, this code right here after you have decided on what you want and again you can see here that it says the a colon link the normal link it gives me a color it says no text decoration which you see has none it takes away the underline and that I want it to be bold and then the visited is here with the different color it's got that bluish color and again text decoration none and then for the hover where you roll over it there's that greenish color is that and then it says text decoration underline and overline so that we get this fancy looking deal here. That's pretty much the deal. Thanks for watching.